Oh, it's okay, babe. Oh, now sit down, Mike. Oh, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Oh, okay. I'm very good, thank you. But you can pull it in. Yeah. Nice and close. It's going to be short and sweet. That's all right. Okay. This couple has come here today in our presence to be joined in marriage. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety as a lover, companion, and friend. It is, therefore, a decision not to be entered into lightly, but rather with great consideration and respect for both the other person and oneself. Marriage, as you know, is not a single event, but rather a developing process. Janice and Rod, today's ceremony is simply a milestone in your journey together. We are gathered to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Rod and Janice. We have also come together to demonstrate our support for them as they begin their married life together. The relationship of Janice and Rod is not new, nor is their relationship new. But today, in our presence, they have chosen to affirm their love in a marriage ceremony of commitment and promise. Although this is a simple ceremony, it is a moment of lifelong commitment that will profoundly affect them both for the remainder of their lives. You who know them well and love them best are called to stand by them throughout their marriage, rejoicing with them in their times of happiness, and assisting and supporting them in any time of need or sorrow. Rod and Janice, before you pledge your vows to one another, I must first ask you both to declare whether there is any legal or moral impediment to your marriage. You don't have to give that one to me again. I'm, you don't have to. Give, that one doesn't matter. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is the one that matters. And I'm just going to ask it as a question. Okay, so if you listen to my question, give me your answer. Is there any lawful reason why you, Rodney John Neufeld, may not be joined in marriage to Janice Lynn Neville? So too, I ask you, Janice, to listen to my question and give me your answer. Is there any lawful reason why you, Janice Lynn Neva, may not be joined in marriage to Robbie John Newfield? Now, I can do your vows again as a question. Will you just, would you like me to read your vows and you repeat them after me, or would you just like me to ask it as a question that you answered? Just ask me stuff. Perfect. Okay. So if you would please join hands as you pledge your vows to one another. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. No. Okay. So Janice will give you a nudge when you need to. Okay. okay. Rod, I ask you to look into Janice's eyes, into her heart, listen to my question, and give me your answer. Do you, Rod? Take this woman, Janice, to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love, honor, and cherish, from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? Yes. Janice? I ask you to look into Rod's eyes, into his heart. Listen to my question and give me your answer. Do you, Janice, take this man, Rod, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love, honor, and cherish from this day forward? as long as you both shall live? <laughs> Rod and Janice, you have made your vows of marriage in our presence. Therefore I, Trish McGowan, by virtue of the powers vested to me by the Marriage Act, do hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Mm. Yay! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. May you enjoy length of 
days, fulfillment of hopes, and peace and contentment of mind, as you day by day live and fulfill the terms of this commitment you have made with one another. May the vows you have made to each other today sustain you forever. Can't change your mind now. <laughs> You're caught. <laughs> like you say, you could kill someone to get less time. <laughs> and it does stay. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, Peter. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I gotta come to the Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I know. I, I want to film time. the signatures. Okay. Yeah. You can do the two of you and Peter first. Yeah. Okay, so Rob, if you want to start, you can start right there with just your Almost usual signature. Okay, and a second one right there, please. Doing this for his sister Linda on the island so yeah, she can be a part of the wedding. She can Skype it to Tim too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh they'll love it, Myra. Yeah. Oh big time. Perfect. Okay. So now Janice, if you would like to start, you can sign right there first. Okay. Full name or just whatever your signature normally is. Yeah. Perfect. And now right there. <laughs> and for for everyone to know, I kept my name, and Rod agreed with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, who I am now? Lucy, Nada. Remember that one, Karen? Okay, Lucy, Nada. Lucy, Nada. Still Jan to me. Yes. <laughs> my partner in crime. Yeah. No, you uh, just hit me yet. Yeah. Newfield and Neva, they're just any, any. Yeah, any. Yeah. And, and, and then you. Yeah. Yep. If you can sign beside your name and then fill your address in below, please. Almost like it was meant to be. I think it was. I don't know how good. And then this is your street address, or if, you, if you're rural root address, or... I don't believe rural roots are in anymore. No. They've no. taken them out. They've put fire numbers on everybody. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. pretty much, yeah. Out. Nope, so everybody's out of rural roots, because yeah. it was too confusing for paramedics and uh, EMS and firefighters. That's why they made the change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mara, you're going to have to put okay. the camera down. You need it's my turn to, to sign. Okay. Oh, you don't have to what if you do want do? to. Just don't, don't touch anything. <laughs> just don't touch the screen okay. at all. Okay, you go over there and sign, okay. I think. That's my, uh, nephew's wife, Bobby yeah, Lee. Bobby Lee? Yeah, Bobby yeah. Lee? Yeah, I know like she's from out this area. Mm -hmm. Or Slate River. Is she in Merlo or she lives in Merlo or Slate River? No, she lives in Conway. Oh, Conway, okay. I, had to feel I just wondered why her name was on it. Because she works at City Hall. Oh. Yeah, she's the one who filled our uh, paperwork out. Oh, okay. Oh, you here. Over here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You switched them. Okay. So right there, please. Fixed. Yeah, Bobby, they should bring it up on the printer. Good person. Screen. I enjoy working with her. Okay. And okay. well, then you're going to sign there, below your mom. Yeah. And you can get. I didn't know she worked there. She had so many jobs. Yeah, she's moved around a lot. She's been in this particular job for a few years now. Oh, yeah. So if you could sign beside your name there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, the windbreakers. I don't see no ring. We oh, didn't go gonna for rings. Okay. We're going to do bracelets. It was Rob's idea. Yeah. I'm not a right person. No, yeah. I'm not either. I'm a band person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's Mara? I'm here. <laughs> okay. I moved around. My eyes are good. All right. Perfect. So, that was all I had to do. Done. Yeah. Quick and painless. Yeah. Makes you wonder why you waited 20 years. <laughs> 20 years? Makes you wonder why you waited 20 years when it's really, wasn't that hard. <laughs> it's okay, babe. You still got the next 20 years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I put that in my card. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, want to go watch some curling? Or are you yeah.